Today's closet clean out day. My closet is a mess. My life is a mess, honestly. And I need to clean, I can't clean up my life. That's asking for way too much. But I can clean up my closet and get ready to go down to Baja. I have ordered some new things, but I've also accumulated some other things. I have a very small closet, very small closet space. We gotta fix it up. We gotta get rid of some old stuff. I mean, I literally wear the same thing every single day. I don't wanna do this right now. I like really don't wanna do this. I'm hoping this is one of those things that I'm gonna start doing and then I'm gonna get into doing. I know it's gonna help me get into doing it though. needed this wine when I tell you my life's a mess like mm. holidays family how much more do I need to say oh my god my legs are like glowing nobody judged me for my paleness even though I'm in Florida that's humiliating I gotta get all my clothes down oh god I lifting this up was a bad idea under the bed is always awful maybe you're new here and you don't know that this is my home and i've lived in here for two years everything i own is in this van we're gonna do we're gonna do the bed thing come on this is what i'm talking about by under the bed this mine 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 we need to get everything out of the packing cubes and then we'll go through everything we'll decide what i should keep we'll decide what for my new clothes what i should maybe like return i got a little like spend happy like this is exposing myself of like what am i holding on to for absolutely no reason oh we're we're going for it we're taking them all out this is like 10 shirts this is like nothing and yet it's somehow everything i'm still staying with my parents my brother's here my sister's here both of my parents are here my family you think i'm a chaotic person well the apple doesn't fall far from the tree i think that i think that's what they say so my family is loud we're not like a you know, very conservative, hold in your thoughts type of family. Emotions run high. Every family goes through stuff. I'm sure your family is going through stuff right now. And right now, you know, my family's kind of being tested with some stuff. So that's why I'm... What has this been? What has this been? Oh, don't knock the wine. That's why I'm here. Dealing with family stuff and whatnot. And it's great to spend like extended time with my family for the holidays. You know. When you're with your family, it can be a lot. All right, like usually I live in the van. When I visit here, sometimes I'll stay in the bedroom. <sighs> I know you guys will be shocked to hear this, but last time I started a fucking war with the van in the HOA. So this year, I want to very proudly say that I have not started shit. I've not started, I have started shit. I haven't intentionally started shit. Like last year, the people in the HOA literally tried to get it so that they wouldn't let the van in like the front of like the gated community. And they were like, no, we can't do that. So, like I said, shit going down. You know, we all have our stuff in our families that we have to deal with. Now that I've messed up all my piles, taking that thumbnail, way to go. These are my leather Spanx. Keep, definitely keep. I love those. These, these are definitely dirty. Okay, so the problem with these is that because I like never do laundry, these don't hold up for like the wash test. These didn't last. These bag out. They're just like, they're thick and they're warm and they were good for winter, but like these gotta go. Am I just gonna throw everything in my parents' driveway? Yeah, I am. The, na the neighbors don't hate me enough already. So now I'm the homeless girl throwing clothes out of her van. These are spiritual gangster. They're a little bit big. Like they're really long on me. They're super soft, like super comfortable. The material is amazing. Literally live in these. These are black drawstring. They don't have pockets, which is like a super big flaw. I love these. I just cuff them up. These are from Airy. These are the softest, thinnest, most amazing sweatpants. I got my mom hooked on them. I got my sister hooked on them. Like I wear the shit out of these. I should not admit right now how much I wear these sweatpants but I've worn the black like off of them. I don't know what to do about these. I might get rid of these. Like what if? Oof, gone. Okay, just do it, just, just do it. I own two pairs of leggings. They are not Lulu's. I am a loser. Those keep. I have one pair of shorts. I made these, these are vintage. <laughs> These are vintage Jordache. I don't know if these fit me. Let's see if these fit me. No. I 
think these are cute. They're like a little uncomfortable with these. I don't like wearing denim shorts. It's like my least favorite article of clothing ever. So one pair of denim shorts is plenty. Someone drives by. Okay, these keep. I just want to point out that these shorts I'm wearing are the shorts version of the sweatpants that I am obsessed with. That's how obsessed, look at these. Cuff them, whatever. Best shorts, best, best situation ever. <laughs> I thrifted these are Brandy Melville shorts. Like in the middle of winter and I saw these and I was like, oh my God, first of all, packets. I was like, these will be so cute for Mexico. Oh, we have a pair of jeans that have the tags on them. These are a pair of flared jeans. I tried to buy a pair of American Eagle jeans. I have never worn American Eagle jeans before and apparently I never will. <laughs> Return to seller. Button fly crop, like kind of flare. Flare bootleg? I don't know. Those black ones stay. Baggy. They're ripped. Very worn in pair of jeans that are really comfortable to throw on when I don't want to wear pants. Those stay. Okay, here we have the infamous Mexico onesie. The free people. Big pockets. Droopy crotch. I don't even know. This looks so unattractive. No one does this look cute on. Like, I look like a small little potato sack. This is like a comfort over a fashion type of thing. I don't know. Maybe it's not that bad on. Maybe I'm just being dramatic. But this is like a must have. That stays. We have this pair of jeans. Very loose. They're kind of like tight in this area. Honestly, I really knew I wasn't going to get rid of any jeans. So that's that. I've changed my mind and I feel like we need to go through my new clothes first so that we can decide what if the old clothes needs to be retired? Like this is the only proper way to do it. Or what of my new clothes needs to be returned? <laughs> new clothes are exciting. I never get new things and I never get packages. So like getting packages was super fun. I'm so sweaty in here. Everything here is from Revolve. Oh my God, we're doing a Revolve haul. Look who we've become. This is the cutest stinking thing. I am sorry, this is like the worst modeling ever and I'm like sitting down and just looking how I'm looking, but these are these little straps. It's just this little bralette, but like look how cute this looks over like a t-shirt like that. Like, come on. Okay, so I bought, <gasps> oh my God, come on. I love this. And then this is the back. Oh, like this like feels like home. But then the other one that I bought <laughs> this will not be for everyone. It is a black hoodie and then the sleeve. Look at that. That's my personality on a sleeve. I bought this in a medium. Typically I buy my hoodies, like normal size hoodies and like a larger and extra large. This is just like so uncomfortably fitting. It is like fitting, it is awful. I can only keep one. I can't get two new hoodies. So I need you to tell me which hoodie that I need to keep. <laughs> Don't tell me to keep them both. I bought this shirt. I think that I'm going to return this. This is the shirt. I think the straps are too thick on me and I think that it's just not flattering on me. I just think that it makes my boobs look super saggy and just weird and like, like I have I great have boobs, boobs so, so why would we want to make them look bad? This is just a free people tube top. I live, live in these little free people, the Brahmies. So I, I honestly just had to replace the ones that I have right now. Oh, this isn't from Revolve. This is a little Amazon, Amazon special, just a little white beater. And then I replaced, I bought two new oversized t-shirts. So I have the same two, I mean, this is just black, but I have the same two oversized t-shirts that I wear. They like, they need to die. They need to go. This oversized tequila t-shirt, does it say anything else on it? Tequila little time together. I don't know. Maybe that's a thing or something. It's not a thing that I know. This is from Boys Lie and the back is just, I just thought the shirt was so cool. So I love buying nice t-shirts. That is my weakness. I have worn this t-shirt like every day for the past year. Should I crop it? Anytime I have to go to something, I'm like, but what if I crop it and then it's not technically the same shirt? I've gone through so many moments in life in this t-shirt. I'm just kidding. I'm not emotionally attached to clothes like that at all. Goodbye. Oh, I did get one more thing. 
This was a solid purchase. I ordered this from Billabong. Random as hell, I know. I have like a bikini. I have two bikini videos coming up next. And I saw this on Billabong. I was like, that just looks like, oh, perfect. But it's super deep cut and the material is super flowy. Pockets galore. I liked the straps. I got this in a medium. I wasn't sure what was gonna happen with this, but it fits and it's cute. You know what's funny? This is like not white. Like I thought this was white, but this is like so scarily white that this is not white. One wash, it's gonna be this white. And this white is gonna be this white. You know what I'm saying? Moving on to shirts right now. This is where things get sticky. I wore this today. This is my disgusting gym shirt. Discolored, stained, like I can't get rid of that. It's disgusting, I wear the same gym shirt every single day. Oh, maybe I'm gonna find my sports bra when I go through my clothes. Oh, we're talking winter clothes. Long sleeve, black. This is from Maritia. This is the softest thing I've ever felt in my life. I'll, I'll keep that, like, honestly, till I die. Oh, I have so many t-shirts. And they get buried. And I wear the same shirt every day. Okay, this is my Van Halen shirt. That's not going anywhere. Neck deep crop. That's not going anywhere. <laughs> we're not getting rid of anything. <laughs> my skeleton shirt, though. But, like, this is a maybe. This is, like, depending how full my clothing cube is. My Jet Boil shirt. I love my Jet Boil shirt, but I think this has to go. It's very soft. It's my Jet Boil shirt, though. Yes. Like, my favorite shirt of all time. This, it was a shirt swap with Jonathan. He gave me his shirt off of his back um, because I loved it so much. And then I gave my kitchen towel and it was a little swap. This will stay forever and this is the greatest shirt, like, actually ever, ever that stays. We have, this is another Jet Boil shirt. This can go. It's my, def that's never, no. Super vintage Pink Floyd shirt. Love this. This is like what my favorite crop top of all time. Okay, this, I can tell you this. I hate this shirt. I hate this shirt so much. This is another, this is a cheap article of clothing that doesn't even make it through like a day of wear. Goodbye. I wore this on my date with Kenzie. It is a tank top, the back, like one strap that goes across. We'll put it on. Did I just get deodorant all over it? Yes. And then this is the back of the shirt. I literally, I just got deodorant all over it. The cutest. I absolutely love this. It's technically a sweatshirt, isn't it? Oh, we found another t-shirt. I love this t-shirt too. This is Lauren Moshi. Moshi? I don't know. I love this t-shirt. It's so cute. Guys, maybe it is time to retire the skeleton t-shirt. <gasps> oh, these. I cannot hype these shorts up enough. These are from Amazon. This was the greatest purchase ever. These are so stretchy. They are the softest thing you will ever put on your body. I will actually link these in the description because everybody should own these shorts. Like, everybody should own these shorts. I bought a size small. I could have done an extra small. The small is great. I could do either size. I live in these. These are winter clothes. This is my thermal long sleeve. That stays, but we'll stash that. Long sleeve crop. That stays, but we'll stash that. I don't have a lot of winter like clothing. I just wear hoodies. I have been holding on to this like bodysuit being like, I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna have such a good time one night and like need something cute to wear. I have never, ever worn this. This has to go. This flannel. Oh, I'm sorry, this is my going out flannel. I do love this flannel too. Oh, classic. I cannot wear this shirt because I can't do laundry. I will literally never get rid of this. This is my most special t-shirt. This is just a button up like cover up. I hate the sleeves. This is from Madewell. Oh, also, I got the most sick like button up bee shirt in the world. So like I'm not really concerned with the white one. I just hate these sleeves. They are so constricting. I feel like maybe I will make it a sleeveless. Once again, my idea is to like cut it, make it a new shirt. It's not the same shirt. We have a problem. I love this. This I'm not getting rid of. Just a crop hoodie is so cute and that's my only crop hoodie. And I won't get rid of it, but I think I'll just like stash it somewhere at my parents' house where they'll never see it and I have it forever. I love this. It is oversized. It is so soft. My tailor zip up. This is actually like my brother's from high school or something. Like I don't need this. I bought this at a thrift store for the beet harvest. This will now live on to another thrift store lost in sauce if you know you know you know this is this is a very bulky jacket making it look like i donated way more than i actually am donating and getting rid of out of my closet this is what we got rid of that's not bad and this is what stays right now for all of my clothes that i own that's it those are not clothes that's the rug and a towel that's shoved in the front from our giant leak in the van 
hope that if you celebrate Christmas, you have a very Merry Christmas. I hope that if you celebrate Hanukkah, you are eating so many latkes that I am not eating. I love latkes. I don't have any, that's why I'm sad. And my dad said he was gonna make them and he never made them, so. I don't know if this was productive. We did get rid of some things. Did we really clean out our life and clean out our closet? I don't know if that can really be true, but cleaning out your closet is a good way to start cleaning out your life. And I feel, I feel a little bit lighter that I've gotten rid of t-shirts that you've seen me in for the past like solid, solid year. But you could go and click on any vlog and I can guarantee you that I'm wearing one of those t-shirts. But I got two new t-shirts, so get used to seeing those for the next two years. You know what I mean? Okay. There's also a dress. There's a dress in this van somewhere that is super cute that I don't know where it is. There's a dress somewhere.